Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy here. So today I'm sharing with you guys my everyday makeup routine. I'm sitting in front of my vanity with natural sunlight, which is great because I want to make this as realistic as possible. This is just a look that I've been wearing for maybe the past two or three years and I've been keeping the same products for like since forever because once I find products I like, I don't really like to venture out. Um, to try new products. I just like to stick with what I have. So these products are basically all my holy grails, all the products that I absolutely love using. I just like the joy of putting on makeup. It's just something so therapeutic and nice about just sitting down and pampering yourself. So I hope you guys will enjoy this look and maybe you guys will find a product that you like using. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. So first things first, I always like to start off with a moisturized face. So I already put on a moisturizer. And of course, I'm just wearing my Lancome Idol Tint Foundation. I think I've been using this for almost like two years now. There's just something about this foundation that I really like. Um, I think it's like the subtle scent of it and the medium coverage it's not it doesn't look too cakey or heavy on my face and that's why i like it for this foundation i actually got one shade lighter than my skin tone because this one oxidizes and it becomes darker as you wear it throughout the day so once this settles in it will pretty much match my skin tone Right, and then I like to go in with my Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I just put this on my areas where I have blemishes, so mostly my cheeks. I had a really, really bad acne breakout like a couple years ago. I had like really, really bad cystic acne and rosacea. So that let me scarred physically and emotionally, like literally. And mostly these ones are on my cheeks, so... I just like to put on an extra layer of concealer. So I don't have to do a lot with my brows because I already got them microbladed. But this has been almost two years since I got it done. But it still stayed on pretty nicely. So, but then I just like to go in with my Anastasia brow pencil to just kind of fill it in and give it a little more definition. I hope that one day we'll be in love when enough Alrighty, so now let's move on to my favorite part, which is the eyes. I've been using the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. I love this palette so much. All of the colors are just so dreamy and pastel-y, which are my favorites. And I just like to use this light pink shade over here to just put it all over my eyelid as a base. This is basically like a smaller version of the nude palette, the big palette that Huda has. But this one is so much more practical for me. I love small palettes. I feel like I don't need to spend as much brain power to think about the shades that I'm going to use because these all right here are just, that's really all I need. <laughs> so I'm going to use it with my e.l.f. blending eye brush. I love e.l.f. brushes so much. They're just so affordable and they work so nicely. So I forgot to mention that this eye look usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes every morning to do. And then for the shimmer shade, I like to use my fingers to pack on the shimmer. So I'm going to use this darker pink on the bottom right. I just like to dab that in the center of my eyelids. Alrighty, and then I just like to use any of these white shimmery shades eyeshadow. Um, it doesn't matter what friend. I just, any type of white eyeshadow will work. And I just dab that in the inner corner of my eyelids. And what this does is actually just brightens up your eyes a little bit and make you look more awake. I'm going in with my Shiseido Eyelash Curler to give my lashes a few good clamps. And then I'm using my PMEL Mascara Essence Base. This one is honestly my favorite um, essence ever for my mascara base because it doesn't weigh down my lashes and it honestly just keeps my lashes up and curled all day. Like even after I use makeup remover, I can still see that my eyelashes are curled because of this product. So I really would recommend it. But I think this product got like too popular. I saw that on eBay. They jacked up the price by over 100% because this used to be like $12 when I got it on eBay. 
and now that I see they're selling it for like 20 something to 30 dollars which is really insane so if you guys see this in your local like Asian beauty store I would definitely recommend you guys picking this up this is just a holy grail product for my eyelashes like I would not go without using this because it's just it's just that good like I want to show you guys real quick if we see a difference like this side just with a mascara base and this side without it already looks like I'm wearing some type of mascara, but I'm not. It's just a mascara base. And then I'm going in with my Kiss Me Mascara. This one, it's like super waterproof. Honestly, it doesn't really smudge throughout the day. And I really like how this doesn't really clump up your lashes. And honestly, sometimes if I get any mascara on my eyelids, I just use a Q-tip to clean them out really quickly. So I've just been using my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in Mocha. Like honestly, this thing never ends. I had this for maybe two or three years and this thing is still going strong. So I'm basically just creating two parallel lines on my nose bridge like this. I'm actually just going to use my Sephora blending brush. I found this in TJ Maxx and honestly this thing works wonders and it was only $4. I'm not a person that likes to splurge on makeup brushes because I just don't really see the need of using really expensive brushes to do a makeup look that you like because honestly there are just so many affordable brushes in drugstores or TJ Maxx and Marshalls that will just work basically the same. So now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild highlighter. This one is in the color Blossom Glow and honestly Again, I had this product for ages, literally years, and it just, it still looks like I really haven't touched this product. And I've been using this a lot, but just mostly as a nose contour, just put this in the center of my nose. I find this, this really makes a difference, especially in photos. Like I see that my nose do look just a little more defined <laughs> compared to my naturally not so defined nose. So now I'm actually going to rewind a little bit and go back and curl my lashes for a second time. But this time I'm just giving it a really soft clamp. If you like, you can actually apply a second coat of mascara, but I usually don't because I think one coat of this is already very sufficient. Two more coats, I actually just think this is like too chunky. It gets too chunky for me, so I don't do that. My favorite eyeliner, which is the Kat Von D inked liner. So just use this to kind of fill in the gaps. And I think it really depends on my mood. Sometimes I just stop right here for my eyes and other times I like to wing it out a little bit. Okay, you know what? Just for the sake of this video, I am going to wing my eyeliner out. I just do like a baby upside down triangle. Okay, so I just like a very soft and simple wing for every day. And I'm just going to pack on some blush. This is actually a sample that I got at Sephora. This one is the NARS Orgasm Blush. So I'm just going to lightly pack. You really make me wanna fly. This brush is honestly so freaking natural. I might have to buy myself like the full package of this after I'm done. But then I also feel like even though this is so tiny, I feel like I will never hit 10 on this. I'm using one of my all-time favorite lip creams, which is the one from NYX. This one is in the color Stockholm. Honestly, my best friend recommend this to me. So Elaine, if you're seeing this, hi. <laughs> this color is honestly just so natural for everyday use. It's just this nice, nudie salmon pink on my lip color. All right, so that is it, guys. That is my everyday makeup tutorial. Not a tutorial. I don't want to call this a tutorial. This is just me sharing my everyday routine to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.